Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tech Talk. I'm Gareth Spence, and I'm joined by Paul Morkel today to discuss a demonstration of Adva's TerraFlex technology running on its OLS. Paul, thanks for joining me today. Can you give us a brief overview of this showcase behind us? Yes. So thanks, Gareth. This is the uh, demonstration of the FSP3000 TerraFlex. It's our new generation of flex coherent technology for DCI, and it's running across our FSP3000 open line system, OLS. Why should customers care about this? What does it mean for them? So what we're showing is a very high speed transport, uh, 64 QAM, 69 gigabaud transport with 600 gigabits per wavelength. So this is one of the you know, first demonstrations of this technology. And we're showing it in an SDN environment whereby we can control the modulation characteristics of those interfaces in response to changing network conditions. This is using a NetConf interface, so it really is an SDN application. You mentioned an industry first there. Is this truly a milestone? We think it is. Um, you know, this new generation of technology offers a lot of options to the end user and the ability to automate some of the capabilities so the system responds automatically in terms of changing network conditions, we think is a very important feature uh, for our customers. Paul, thanks for the quick introduction there. What we're going to do now is switch to the screen behind us and see the demo in action. So what we have here is a screen showing the different windows that are uh, indicating the performance on the system. On the top left is um, the 100 gigabit Ethernet performance characteristics as measured with an industry standard uh, Ethernet test set. It's showing everything is operating OK when operating with the 600 gig 64 QAM modulation format. The top middle window is a constellation diagram. This shows uh, the characteristic indicating that it's 64 QAM modulation, which is needed with our existing board rate in order to support 600 gigabits per wavelength. And the diagram on the top right, the window is showing the spectral ut utilization. So this is an optical spectrum analyzer, which is determined by the board rate which is running on the system. Uh, the console window below is indicating the characteristics that we're polling from the system at this point in time. So it's retrieving various parameters, including the modulation format. It's doing this on a fairly regular basis, so it's quasi real time, 600 gigabit, 64 QAM modulation. And it's also retrieving the PM data from the TerraFlex equipment itself. So the optical received power, the signal to noise ratio, and the Q value with the data rate. So this is indicating that everything is good, um, operating with the existing network characteristics with the 600 gigabit modulation format. And what we're going to do now is simulate a changing network condition by adding additional optical loss to the OLS link that this uh, TerraFlex uh, uh, wavelength is running across. So we're going to do that. Um, by adding additional loss. And what you'll see is the OPR value on the console window will change from its, ex its existing value of minus 2.2 to a different value. Um, but the threshold that we've set for this, which is the trigger for changing the modulation format, should not be crossed in this particular case, meaning the system still runs e efficiently in this case with the change in the loss value on the link uh, without having to reconverge to a different wavelength. So here we're at minus 2.2 on OPR, and what we see is we change to minus 4.8 on the optical receive power, but still it's within the threshold characteristic, so nothing needs to change on the system. We're continually monitoring, continually polling, and everything is still good. So the next part we're going to do is add additional losses further, which takes us below the threshold that we've set for the optical receive power. And uh, this is going to cause a reconvergence on the system to a different modulation format because we've defined that a particular value is not suitable for 600 gig modulation anymore, so we'll change it to a 400 gig modulation. In this particular case, we're changing both the modulation format, so the constellation, as well as the board rate on the system. And what you'll see is a change in the optical received power value, and then you'll also see that uh, uh, the signal uh, test equipment on the top left shows a failure in terms of the bit error rate, and we'll see that the uh, constellation disappears and has to reconverge to a different value. Right, so the first indication here on the top left is that we've got a fail on the Ethernet test equipment, which is fully expected. Uh, you'll see that the constellation um, will no longer show the 64 QAM modulation as it reconverges, and you'll see that uh, in the console window below that we're going through a reset process. We're now 
at an OPR of minus 8.3, which is below the threshold. So the SDN application, which is running this, has determined that we need to do a reconvergence of the modulation format. OK, so we can see now the system has changed to the 400 gig 32 quam modulation. It's taken about a minute to do so. Uh, we're polling every six seconds. And the reason for that is we're not only changing the modulation format, but we're also changing the baud rate. You see that the Ethernet test equipment is good. We're showing an OK signal on the 100 gigabit Ethernet test set. We're showing a different constellation diagram. Now this is representative of the 32 quam modulation format. And we're showing a difference in terms of the spectral utilization. So a slightly narrower spectral window as shown on the top right compared to what we had before. And that's an indication that the board rate has changed. It's actually a lower board rate. Uh, the console window below then shows the new modulation format. It shows 400 gigabit with 32 quam. It shows the new uh, optical receive power, which is what we controlled by adding loss to the system. It shows the signal to noise ratio, and it shows the Q value, which is compatible with a new 400 gigabit data rate. Paul, thanks for talking us through the demonstration today. It's great to see the Terraflex, especially in action. We're looking forward to hearing more about this in the future.